For Aaron Folk, there are reminders of them throughout the barn. He used to love this one. He would lay here all the time. Daisy and Cujo's, the Folk family's livestock dog's lives were cut short after both dogs were found with gunshot wounds to their face and body on October 2nd. This was someone who, out of total malice, stopped their vehicle with purpose and intention and shot these dogs who were harmless. Folk had been in Regina seen family when she got a call from a neighbor. Daisy was found critically injured a few kilometers from their home and rushed to the vet while Cujo was missing. It wasn't until the following day when they had found him with similar injuries. We got another phone call that he was found. He was trying to make his way home. He was at the intersection on the highway and he was trying to make his way home. He'd been shot in the head and he'd been shot in his front shoulder. The injuries were so severe that the family had to make the difficult decision to put them down. They were our family. We loved them. Cujo was a year old the day he got shot. It was his birthday. RCMP are currently investigating what took place near Highway 322 and the Folk family has offered up a cash reward to anyone with information. We're asking anyone with information about the incident or who saw anything suspicious in the area between about 9.15 and 10.15 in the morning on October 2nd to call police. Mark Strong, a counselor with the RM of McKillop, says the incident is unimaginable. We have lots of traffic moving around in this area at this time of year. Um, I believe that somebody saw something, maybe that they didn't know uh, the circumstances of it, uh, but we're really looking for those tips uh, to go towards the RCMP or Crime Stoppers to figure this out for this family. As for Daisy and Cujo, the Folk family has since buried both of their furry friends on the property to honour their memory while they wait for justice. You know, it's just such a big piece missing. And uh, yeah, they were dogs, but they were very special to us. Sarah Jones, Global News.